Now let's look at how to write the code. Let's choose the ground first. When green flag clicked, we want to broadcast a message. Restart. So all the sprites knows that the, the game is going to start. Okay, and when I receive the restart message, for the ground, it will start from the center of the screen. So we'll go to motion. It will go to zero, zero. So it will start from the center. And if you go to the costumes, the ground is just this size. What we want is to have continuous background. So we're going to create a clone of this background. So go back to code. I'm going to create a clone of myself and then I will continue move to the left. So there will be a forever loop. I want to move to the left. For the moving to the left, let's create a block. So go to my block, make a block, call it background move. For this background move, because it's moving to the left, so we're going to change X. Go to motion, change X by minus five. But let's say if the whole background goes off the screen from the left side, we're going to reset it to start from the right side again. So go to control. If, go to operations less than something and go to motion if x position is less than minus 500 and i'm going to set x to be to be on the right we go to motion we are going to set x to be operations motion x position times minus one so we can try for this x let's say we make it minus five zero one once we set x to be minus five zero one you can see we can there's only one short line here in this case we're going to move the whole thing to the right side so it will x will become x position times minus one so it will be bigger than 500 Okay. And forever, we are going to do the background move. And of course, the clone copy is going to be moved to the left as well. So go to control. When I start as a clone, I'm going to set X to be 500. We can test here. If we change X to be 500, you can see it's starting from the right side. And we will also do a forever loop and we do a background move. Now let's test this. You can see the background is continuously moving to the left. Okay. So this is what the background needs to do when the game starts. Now let's look at the dinosaur. When the game starts, what does the Dino needs to do? So go to events, when I receive restart, when the Dino receives restart, going to start from the left side of the screen. So I'll go to minus 230. When user press the space key, the Dino is going to jump. So the speed of jumping, we call it Y speed. So let's go to variables. I'm going to make a variable for this sprite only. We call it Y speed. But when we start, the Y speed is zero because it's not jump, it's not jumping yet. And Dino has different costumes, so we're going to make it change costumes. Let's go to control forever loop. I will wait for 0 0.03 seconds. Then I will change to the next costume. So this code takes care of the costume change. And we need to have another code. When I receive the start, restart, I need to see whether user press the key. If user press a key, I need to jump. So we need to have a forever loop. And I'm going to change my Y by Y speed. Okay, 
So it's going to jump, but it can't fall into the ground. So we're going to have an if. If y position is less than 31. You can see the y of denote is 30. So once it's less than 31, that means it touched the ground. Set y to be 30. And then we're going to check if user press the space key. So I'm going to have if go to sensing if key space pressed, I'm going to jump. Then we're going to set y speed to be 10. So it will jump. Else if the user didn't press the key, we need to slowly decrease the y speed. So we will change y speed by minus one. So it, when it jump up, it will go slowly, slowly, slowly until it starts coming down. So now let's try this. If I press the space key, so you can see it's jump and you can see it's had a very nice jump. It will go up slowly, slowly, and then come down. Okay. Now let's look at the cactus. When we start, what does the cactus needs to do? So let's first drag out when I receive restart. We need to have multiple cactus. Okay, so we will have a forever loop. The cactus, remember the cactus has two costumes. So we have a forever loop. Go to looks. I will switch costume to pick a random number from one and two. Right, because we have costume one and two. So I pick a random costume and I'm going to create a clone of myself. Once I create a clone of myself, I need to wait for some time be before we have a new cactus. So let's have if else. Equal to. If my costume number A equals to 1, that means it's a smaller cactus, so I can wait for a shorter time. So I'll wait for 1 second. Otherwise, it's a bigger cactus, I'll wait for 2 seconds be before we create another clone of the cactus. And when I start as a clone, I will go to the right side and slowly move in. So I will go to 250 and 20. I'll move in. And when we start, we don't want the cactus to be shown on the screen. So we'll hide the cactus. And only when we have the clone, we will show the cactus. And the cactus also needs to move to the left. So we will do repeat until its x position is less than minus 230. Otherwise, we will keep it moving to the left. So we will change x by minus 5. So we'll change x by minus 5 until the x position is minus 230, which means the cactus is off the screen. We can delete this clone. So we are going to delete this clone. Okay, let's try. Okay, the cactus is a bit too big for the dino to jump over. So let's reduce its size to maybe 30. Now it looks like a bit off the ground. So let's change its location to 10. Okay, and remember we need to change in the code as well. Change this to 10. Let's restart. 
Okay, you can see the Dino can jump over the cactus. Okay, and for the game over, when we restart, the game over should disappear. So when I receive restart, I will just hide. Okay, so this is all the code when we start the game. And in the next video, we are going to look at how to stop the game.